Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world. And there's a couple little details I'm going to do inside here before we get back out and get our missions going here. Uh, first thing I want to do is this. I've been doing some research because I've been asking these questions a lot from some of you and some of you made uh, some suggestions. And ultimately I've taken a look at a few sources, some recommended and some just found on my own. And this is what I've decided uh, to do. We're going to take our resistance haven here that has that dangerous Western U.S. haven that's been sitting there at, at the level 8 for forever. And basically what I've... Whether it's right or wrong, there's, there's conflicting ideas or various ideas, not necessarily conflicting. But I'm changing everybody to supply. I no longer am going to worry about trying to get a precursor mission to an invasion. If they invade, they invade and we deal with it. There's a little bit of RNG involved on an, uh, an invasion mission based on a, a beacon that gets put out. Whether that's easy or difficult to, to get to, that can make a huge difference on success or failure of that mission. But if it's a corpse mission, it's one that should be able to be handled by us. A little bit of a pause to, to say that, but <laughs> this is the way we're going to play it. Everybody's back on supply. It's going to greatly increase our supplies that we're able to pick up each month. And I think by waiting for a chance of an invasion, which in some cases I've had people say, well, I never had one for over three months. And they could have the whole time. It just It's just kind of a random thing. So rather than give up all the supply, we'll just deal with the chance of doing the invasion mission itself which should in most cases be doable, maybe losses, maybe not, but doable depending on where the beacon's put. So I'm gonna, pl I'm gonna play the game this way now. Uh, so there you go. That's our first change. The supplies, uh, once we get our supply drop and head into a new month, we're gonna see a big, should, I should say, we should see a big jump there, especially uh, without the faceless there anymore to detract from that. Next thing we've got to look at, let's take a look in the armory. We have some new wounded soldiers in there, and I'm about to switch a scientist in there. And the big one I want to watch and see how much we're able to reduce this is Handgun 11, Felipe. Is it 23 days right now? Well, I want to see what that drops to once we put the scientist in there to help out with the healing process. So it's going to go from 23 days down to... And we'll put Arnaldo in there. How about that? And see how he helps out. And let's go back into the armory now. And take a peek at wound times. And see what they may have dropped. They're all grouped right here. Yeah, 23 down to 16. So basically, we saved you a week of recovery time, Felipe, by adding that scientist in there. And I am happy with that result. Now we got four days sick. You know, the changes are less drastic for the other folks. But still, they're all improved. Four days, six days, seven days, and 16. Sounds a heck of a lot better than it did. So that that's the big adjustments I wanted to take care of first. And I think the one other thing we're going to do... What can I do for you, Commander? And let's get into the proving Tygen ground. seems to have a habit of scratching that scar on the back of his head. Yeah, we've had a few I discussions. I made sure his chip was actually removed. Yeah. We, we've, had, <laughs> we've had a few discussions in the Discord recently... And uh, I'm, I'll probably never build the bolt caster, but we may have we may have a little use for the shadow keeper. And therefore, since it's only 25 supplies, uh, I still need to build the skulljack. But I think I want to get advanced coil weapons processed first before I spend on this 75 supplies. So let's get the shadow keeper built Sounds or good, in Commander. process. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Thank you, Shen. And uh, we'll see if our ideas uh, in using that weapon pan out down the road. Uh, and that's what we're going to look at. There's a couple soldiers, but I think I've pretty much let them know that I've taken some suggestions on some XCOM row perks that we've picked up and or and or pistol row perks that we're going to pick up, whatever they are. Uh, we, we've had some discussions on a couple people that had some ideas for their characters. And uh, I like the idea of following through on them because, you know... I don't want to get in a rut and never try new things. How about that? And I think now that's everything I was thinking I wanted to, to switch and change. We have uh, the data pad is still at three days. It was at three days before, 
before I put the scientist in here, so that really didn't impact that. Probably some hours difference that we can't tell here. Uh, we got training done for Raul, Machine Hater Jr., Laser Master, and Justine Richards will come out of the tube soon. So we're going to have some changes here. Supply drop in four days. Uh, we got intel here, three days and four days. So we're going to gain a, a, a bunch of intel, which yeah, we're, we're still going to need more than what we're gaining here. But uh, this is all good news. So let's get back out on the map. And what I'm thinking is I'm just going to scan here a little bit longer, uh, see if we can find another mission. The strength is at three, so we, it's still doable. Uh, oh, 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 didn't notice this. Uh, apparently after our little supply raid here, we got the strength to go down to le level seven here in the western U.S. So no longer do we have to even worry about an invasion. Well, temporarily, till it goes back up to eight. So that that's good news. Uh, we may see the strength here start climbing since our we've raised up the vigilance so much. But, you know, that's that's just all part of the game. So let's get scanning here, see if we can find ourselves another mission. And Destiny Butler has been, so we just picked up a new recruit in the western U.S. Hopefully it is not a faceless. <laughs> After all the faceless rendezvous missions we just went through. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Okay, so this looks like it should be... Yeah, this, this should be our announcement for our supplies. I had yes. high hopes for the Resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Alright, so it looks like uh, what we have is 172. The 29, we got rid of that faceless, but we still got the effects of him because he was there most of the month. So uh, I can't wait to see next month now when we get a full month's worth of income with everybody on supply, uh, the kind of change that we see at this point. So cross your fingers so that it's a, it's a good change for next month. The elders have blessed me. No, empowered me. I am stronger than ever. And I will not fail. Them. Okay, Mr. Warlock. I was good before. But this is something else entirely. I'm on a whole other level. Are you now, Balhor Nailer? Nailor. <laughs> yeah, I just add whatever vowel I feel like saying. <laughs> anyway, uh, the hunter has now picked up range attacks against flanked enemies. So just, let's just not let this guy flank us. That sounds like a good plan. And, ooh, fatality. What says gain 100%? Anytime a sentence starts with gain 100% aim, I'm a little concerned. And crit against units at... Oh, okay. So don't get hurt in front of the warlock or he, he gonna kill you. <laughs> That's pretty much what that is telling us. Good old Refman Madron. Okay, these bars are, are climbing a little higher than I'm comfortable with. Uh, we need to get ourselves a, a group of master sergeants so we can take these guys out before they uh, maximize here. So that's starting to start to concern me, being this far over halfway point. Uh, we need some master sergeants, my guy, my friends. We need some master sergeants so we can even find them. So they're preparing vigilance, where aliens are on high alert, making it harder for XCOM to catch them unaware. Uh, the permanent event that they're working on is hunt gaining the hunter's instinct ability that grants a bonus against flanked enemies. So I, well, I never like to let them flank us, but yeah, we don't need to give them a bonus on that. And then I'm not going to spend even five intel to find out what this one is, because uh, I really need to expand. So I'm going to hoard the intel that I can and move on. All right. 143, so it's not a great amount, especially after you subtract the faceless penalty, but we won't have that penalty, or shouldn't have that penalty anymore. Avenger That's the good new news. Course. So let's go pick them up. And at least build up our supplies. Oh, what's going on? Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar All right. project. That's if we're never... going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yeah, that's never a good thing to see, but it happens, you know? It happens. 
Okay, we got Raul, Laser Master, Machine Hitter Jr. back. I can put in another leader over there potentially for some more training. We'll take a look at that in a moment, but I think I'm going to wait because side training should finish in another, what? I think there was a two hour difference between the two. Yeah, there it is. Two hours. Okay, Justine, Angel Richards is back. Let's go to the side lap, see who we have available to put in there. And it is Mark, Marcus Nameless Joy, who we saw out in the field just recently. So let's uh, get you in the tube. And we got Stasis, Domination, Soul Steel. Uh, Soul Steel is a track I don't often go down, uh, but Stasis and Domination are kind of, they have a line between them on the old chart. And one is 12 days. Domination's good though. Permanently mind control an enemy once permission. I mean, it's a pretty hefty, amazing perk. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't want to wait 12 days yet for that. What I'd like to do is just go for the short term one because this can help too. Stun a target for a turn. It, it's a kind of a crowd control perk, and uh, you know it stuns them for a turn, but then they can't be attacked. But still. It can help control the battlefield, and I think it's better to get this in four days than take us out for 12. That's what I'm going to do. All right, and I still do have scientists in here to make that as fast as possible. So 12 days with two scientists, that's one hefty. That is one hefty. And since I'm not going to worry about purchasing an upgrade, because so far we're keeping a fairly good flow of one at a time, going through the Psy Labs. So this is how we're doing it. Come back quickly. Nameless. Or or as you did in the Discord after the title of the last mission, you, you temporarily <laughs> changed your icon to nickname of Boomless. <laughs> Made me laugh because of the title of our last, last mission. All right, let's get back out to the Geoscape. I don't think, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we, there, we, there was one more thing I could look at is see if we have an officer that we might want to train. And I don't, I don't think I can sort by officer. I would rather just look at current officers and see about upgrading them. I don't think I want to add any new officers at the moment. So I'm just coming down, scrolling down, looking for officer candidates. And we got Teddy Husky, good boy. I think I'm sending you in for training. And uh, we got incoming, and we got get some. And I, ha I've, I got incoming is a is we're running into that more with more mechs all of a sudden. Um, I think I'm just I'm just gonna pick that one this time. It's like, it's like, yeah, I, that 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 particular level of promotion, I, I kind of waffle back and forth on which one I think I need the most. Let's get back out on the map and get our supplies. All right. Setting course for Mexico. Okay, that gets us up to two twelve. And we've got two missions infiltrated. So you know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna jump right now up to the black market and sell all the excess stuff we might have. Uh, get me up to as high a supplies as I can get within reason. Uh, so we have as much available because pretty soon our data pad's done in 30 hours. I'm gonna need, I wanna get the advanced coil weapons research. That's what I'm hoping for there. So these two will, yeah, now's the time to jump to the black market. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. And let's see what we have to sell. Baseless are... Uh, basically, I think they're only worth eight. Now, have I rendered one yet? No, I no, I mean, I have done the autopsy. So, needle rounds. I can give up one of these, I think. There we go. Uh, Psy at Psy Offense, that, that's, I think that's worth holding, even though they're very interested. Alirium Cores, Data Pads, we'll hang on to those for the moment. Uh, focus, only two bucks. I'm just going to hang on to it in case somebody gets low on will and I need to prop them up a little bit. Uh, extra hit points, I got three of these. 
I don't think I need all three for one hit point. I'm going to sell at least one for now. Then I'll have to try to remember to double check to see if I have any low hit point characters left. And that'll mean I can maybe sell the other two. Uh, Stun Lancer Corpse, not giving up those. All these, I'm not giving up at this point. Let's take a look at this stuff. Advanced Stock, no. Advanced Laser Sight, no. Now, PCS Defense. That's plus four. I'm, I'm going to give up one of those, and I'm going to give up the lesser one, plus three. I'm going to give up the Hair Trigger. Chrysalids, Corpses, I'm not getting rid of. Our Base Suppressor, I'll sell. Uh, emergency Life Support. Yeah, I, you know, I, I've been holding that for forever. And the Hyperac, I've been holding that forever, haven't given it out, I think. I usually only give these to rangers, and every ranger must have one if I've been sitting on that for so long. And advanced stuff, Cooper corpses, nay nay, I save those purely for the alloy plating, and maybe eventually a battle scanner, but uh, we're picking up 66. And I'm comfortable with selling what we did, and we'll add 66. All right. So now I'm going to head back down to the New Mexican region and see if I can't scan a little bit more. Setting course for Sector 8, Mexico. All right. And, oh, woo, 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 woo. I swear it was just three, but it's dropped down to strength two. Now would be, I wish this mission would hurry up and complete uh, because it'll be a little bit easier at a lower, that lower strength level because it already gets an upgrade. It's always a level higher than the strength we're at automatically. So uh, let's hope we can find a mission quickly while the strength hovers at two, because I have a feeling it's gonna climb. Oh, what a boon to get a couple drops in strength. So let's uh, scan for another mission here. Okay, we finished our Shadow Keeper. I am not gonna immediately jump in until I get my new research done in 16 hours. I'm not going to jump in and spend anything yet on any new proving ground project. We have made a number of new discoveries, go. Commander. And I'm not going to repeat that research even though I do need intel. 27 is a nice pickup. We're going to come in here and manually pick out what I want. Now we have battle armor that's inspired. Ooh. You know, and that's only three days. That's a hundred supplies. This is 50 supplies. Wow, wow, wow. But I don't really have the resources yet to buy a lot of armor. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going with offense. I'll see that's hard to pass up. Immediately, I'm always offense I'll oriented contact you though. When I have a full report available. And I know that's going to make some of you out there cringe. Because you don't always agree with my choices that way, but that that's just ah, that gun it. That's I, I you kill him first, you don't need the armor. Problem is I don't always <laughs> I don't always kill him first. <laughs> you can argue zigzag. You may want to think so. Uh, but you're only good enough to kill him first in your head, not on the actual battlefield. <laughs> And that, that's fair criticism, but I still am going to play the offensive game. All right, now, let's infiltrate some more. Let's, let's see if we can get this mission to pop for us. Commander, we're picking up an emergency transponder uh, signal. It looks like the last team we deployed was ambushed on their covert action. We're sending Firebrand to their position for an evac. All right, so it looks like we have, I think this is our first ambush, our first covert op that's been ambushed, eh? Um, let's go find out where it is. Did you honestly expect to operate in the shadows while I still move among the living? Yeah, well, you know, this is our first sighting of uh, her, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Uh, we have been ambushed during the undertaking of a covert action. Immediate extraction by the Sky Ranger is required. So what we're going to do is begin the rescue here and now. Setting course for West Africa.
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this squad out. Oh, Lucian, Andrei the Gamer, you're back in, you're, you're, you know, you look sad for being in the infirmary, but you're back. So that's good to see the infirmary's time is, is paying off. We got some folks back already. Uh, so you know the drill. I'm going to bring you right back after I pick out the team that's going to go in there and rescue uh, the two folks that I've already forgotten who is in them. Who, you know, who are the ones on this infiltration? I can't even remember, but we're going to find out soon enough. So we will see you very shortly. All right, guys, here's the team I have put together to take out with us. Uh, we have Bond Mates here, Grapevine and Maltese. And we got mag weapons galore. We got AP ammo galore. It's a solid, hard-hitting squad team here. And uh, they're going to go in for the rescue. I, I, I like the idea of having a sniper protect the retreat to the evacuation zone. We'll see how that works out. I decided to bring a spark out on this one. So Ecobot Gladius is on this one. And finally, we have a Boomer out on this one. Now, Boomer, his uh, bond mate is in training right now. So I said, well, now now's the time to bring a, a bond mate without a partner because of training. And we gave him, because he's so lonely, we consoled him with a coil rifle. And uh, we switched off all the attachments uh, so it's a, a very strong coil rifle as it stands right now. So I think we have a really strong rescue team. So I'm going to hope that we can get it done with this team. So cross your fingers and let's get going. Sky Ranger deploy. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Okay, Operation Sacred Glove. It takes us to the wilderness of West Africa. Let's go see what this map looks like for us. Cross your fingers. You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. All right, so it looks like we are on the high ground up above here. So, yeah, I think this is the high ground. So I would like to get us working towards the edge of the high ground to, to see about rescuing our friends out there. But I think what I'm going to do first is uh, let's take a look at Wildcat, see where we are with Machine Hater. And I, I, I think we need to get ourselves a move in here and find a path. Yeah, I've kind of seen this map before. Sure seems like it. Uh, what I'm thinking is, uh, unfortunately, you're right, right behind windows, which doesn't appeal to me, of course. We could bring you up here and then down, or we can bring you over to the gate, have Machine Hater open it. Or you open it. Uh, why don't we bring you over here, a Wildcat, since you at least are hidden, and see if we see anything with this blue move. Stolando. And we apparently do not. Now, these gates are very rusty. <laughs> they open quite slowly, uh, but they are open. And I think I'm going to bring you in this angle, hoping to find and gain vision of what might be out there to stop our retreat. Uh, let's let's go take a look here. Roger. Okay, guess what? Uh, we have found them, and they are going to see us. <laughs> they are going to see us. No matter how I try to move Machine Hater, they are going to see us. So I'm thinking of moving Machine Hater here on a blue move, so at least he can shoot back at him. And let's hope full cover is going to be enough. Unfortunately, they have high cover against us, so... Uh, oh well, uh, that's the way the ambush works sometimes. Endless. And they are activated. A Guardian and a Sentry, so not two of the easiest. They did come down to base level, yeah, and no they way. saw us, and that's bad. Bad news that they moved forward so drastically and they saw us. 
That is really not good news. So, um, we have to figure out the best thing to do. Now, if I do area suppression, at least, at least, uh, we can stifle them a little bit this way. And hopefully their shots will not kill Antros now that he is a scene. And because our support up here is not going to be so lucky uh, to get to the edge to be able to help us out. Now we're going we're gonna to push ahead, blue move at a time in oh case God. there's enemies up here. And guess what? There are. So this is going to delay us connecting up. Those two back there are just going to have to handle what they can handle. And we'll handle what we can handle over here. Uh, we got a lot. A lot. Ooh, the Naja way in the back. The other two are Sidewinders. They're all dangerous. Uh, Grapevine, who can you see? Oh. Really? You can't see the ones in the back? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is there, there, is there a tree in the way? So you're only going to be able to shoot at the one. And that's not quite an amazing shot, if you want my opinion. Uh, we could also look at a dual strike. Because your bond mate is right next to you. Oh, here. Oh, uh, baby, baby. I'm kind of leaning towards... Uh, Well, I'm not close enough for both barrels with anybody. Uh, now, I can, I, I'm can. i more concerned about the Naja in the back, because he's the one, if, if he shoots us, at us, it's going to hurt us the most. Not that they all won't make us go, ouch. 73, uh, so I got a 73% chance right now on the guy in the back from my most forward individual. And I'm not going to do walk fire to get an even better shot. I think I need to just do this to try and take him out because we do not get need to get hurt the worst by this guy. Oh man, there's only four of us and there's a lot of enemies to take care of with these four shots. Hmm. Hum de dum dum dum. Okay, we didn't get lucky with the takedown. In fact, it was only a graze because, of course, they are slimy, sneaky serpents. Uh, that means you, Max. You know, we could always do uh, some kind of advanced teamwork or we can take a shot. And I think maybe in this case, in this particular case, I'm, I'm inclined to do a little advanced teamwork more than anything. Keep going. And therefore, get another shot at a very good percentage and see if we can take this guy out. Uh, I could do a walk fight. Now, 94%, I gotta trust that you can hit on this, Maltese. I've got to trust. Oh, another graze. Or a minimum hit. Holy smokes! I could have used the kill, my friend! I could have used the kill. Uh, now we have Gladius. And, um... Let's move you into this position. Physical exertion. Our point. Uh, so we can at least see. That's a, that's a pretty hefty hit, but it's not a guaranteed kill. Uh, we also have a Shredder Gun. That oh so, oh baby baby, cannot quite take him out either. So I'm thinking of overdriving and just repositioning you slightly. So that we do have a, posi have a line. So, you know, taking, if I step you over one square, that might be enough to get an angle. So we can shoot. Now it's four to nine. So that's the 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 damage I'm seeing is assuming uh, the nine. So even this is not the only good thing about this is I would be able to damage two of them. So perhaps 
a follow-up shot could hurt more of them. Oh, and the shredder gun reaches out there too. Ooh, baby, baby. Um. Ooh, do I rather go for? Um. This is a very, I mean, very tough question right now. This is very tough. Can I get it lined up where I hit all three? That that's that's my big question. If I bring it here, can I still pick up all three? Because I can go straight out. Kinda sorta, but then I think I lose him. So if I brought it right here, I think I almost have to go here, but then I'm not sure I can pick it up back there. Well, I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to do the overdrive. I, I, I think I just have to do it. I can't pass up multiple damage right now. And I think I've got to hope that this position is slightly better aligned. It feels good to move around. For this. And it's not. So I'm going to do this. And it should hopefully, hopefully I shred away a bunch of cover too though. So maybe that'll help us in, in one way or another too. Here we go. The Naja is down. We can take away another Sidewinder. Uh, Grapevine, what do you have available to do? You do have advanced teamwork again that you can do for your second move. And Boomer, who do you see from where you are? Nobody? Oh, because Ecobot's in the way? Nobody, nobody? Which means you'll have one shot. So I still, if I'm lucky, have two shots and maybe we can get oh so lucky to get out of this. If I bring you here, you can see both and it's full cover. Let's move already. I think I try to have you shoot at the healthy one. Oh, but the rock is still there. Uh, let's have uh, our sniper, the grapevine, use up his teamwork right here. I give you strength. Now let's take a look at Maltese's shots. 100% there, 70, so it's a better chance for Maltese to shoot here. To hit than our other Ranger. So let's hope with a 28% graze, a 0% crit, let's just hope we can get a 10 as far as damage. You want this? <laughs> okay, so I got one. Woo! After a graze and a not quite getting it done back here, you got her done now. And what that does is it allows me to come over to Boomer. At least somewhere things are working out for us. Because they are not working out for us right now down below. Okay. You want some more? Holy smokes. And no, you don't need to evacuate. I am very worried about what is about to happen down here, my friends. I am very, very worried. Okay, ablative. Oh, and we missed him. Now he's going to get a great shot. And we got lucky on a graze. We are injured. But we got lucky on a graze. So, let's do our free reload. Broken route. And now, we can run to get near the edge for a protective shot coming up. Uh, I'll do it for full cover. Go to cover. Let's find out if there's another squad in between that we just found. Got some and here. oh boy, did we. The drone climbed up fast. The guy down below 
No, apparently won't have a line on us, although he'll he he he'll be able to move. Eh. Okay. Uh Gladius. Let's get you here and see what you can do uh, on the drone for us. Ah, the open spaces, the fresh air. Actually, let's see if uh, the grapevine has a shot on the drone. That's what I think I'd like to try. Very good. You want some more? Because that means uh, we can hope if, if this guy down below tries climbing the ladder, that means I have somebody on Overwatch, and I can have well, I can have others on Overwatch. Uh, let's. Boomer, you can move forward. Here, pick up the loot, have some cover for Overwatch. I'm tired of waiting around. But at least we have a couple overwatching against that guy moving upstairs so, against here us. It is. Scanning. And here. Let's see what our options are. I can move. Oh, these guys are the big overwatchers. That's right. They can overwatch in spite of everything. So. Uh, we don't have to worry about incoming, my friends. We don't have to worry about incoming. What we do have is a uh, focus fire. Uh, machine hater. This guy's not on overwatch. So moving here is not going to pop the overwatch. Moving here says it will, but it's not going to flank them. That's the problem. So, uh... And fortunately, you have a free reload, which I think I'm going to use na uh, very, very quickly here. Um, and uh, Wildcat, unfortunately, does not... Uh, we're just going to do the 50-50, see if we can get lucky to take away the Overwatch. And uh, we sure didn't. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, that was a free, so I do have uh, a command available. I do have a command available. So let's see about Machine Hater. Moving this far, then I can always command for another move. Or because I have all this ablative, do I dare? Do I dare take a chance? Because uh, I don't think your blade. Well, you have the hunter's axe, so that's a, that's a slight upgrade. Um. Uh, I, I, I'm a little worried. Uh, I, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run. I'm thinking I'm just gonna run the Overwatch to take care of the Sentry. I'm gonna count on your ablative. He hit you, but your ablative held up. And then I was hoping this. Uh, let's get back down to Antros. Let's get the Wildcat moving now. Uh, I'm hoping the Wildcat is going to be risky. It is going to be risky. But we're going to hope we can get her done. And we got her done. Thank goodness. The, 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 the difference is the upgraded blade, my friends. The difference is the upgraded blade. Uh, Gladius, I think I need to have you overwatch. Guard duty it is. And our turn is over. Is he going to climb? No, he's coming back this way. Oh, and he's going to overwatch. That works out fine in my book. Because it keeps us all standing with one tick of injury at this point. Reinforcements are imminent. We need to make something happen. Maltese, 
you could be one that can do that. Uh, I'm thinking walk fire all the way. Try and remove the overwatch. I'm glad we did not get an incendiary. Okay, overwatch should be done. Overwatch should be removed. And we can get to the edge for what should be a flank shot to finish it off. I'm compelled to agree. Right. They're as weak as ever. This is good news. Uh, I'm going to uh, rush forward Finally. as quickly as we can. I will overwatch in case we get lucky with sight on anything. Not that I don't think anything else is out there right now. Antros. Yeah, we have we have a med kit heal. D'accordo. Uh, it might be more important at the moment to just get you moving as far as we can. Kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, let's find out how far Machine Hater can double move. Pretty far. Das lass ich mir nicht zweimal sagen. It means I'm letting some loot go, which is not ideal. And I'm going to bring you a little farther forward. Sorry, waiting around. And we're just going to steady. And then uh, Wildcat, I'm staring at the loot over here. Thinking that's not red yet. Let's hope we don't regret this move by Commander. Ayordini. Another data pad. We do need intel. Uh, I can try and get us over in another direction. We're Overwatch. Right, I'll go. Affirmative. Covering now. Ecobot, I think. Oh, we'll bring you down for this one. Unlike the rest of you, this unit doesn't get winded. <laughs> That's good to know, Gladius. All right, Boomer, we can get you up to this full cover for let's Overwatch. And let's Boomer get our guys out of here. Reinforcements are yellow. Let's run. We're not seeing anybody else. Where's the ladder? There's a ladder there. Okay, there's a vine there. So that's what we're running for. Roger. Machine Hater, you're already upstairs. Up on the high ground. Uh, Grapevine, I think I'm just going to keep you there. And reinforcements are still incoming. Not red yet. So it looks like we have a good chance of pulling this off and getting out of here. Ricevuto. Now, what I'm going to do here, just in case we need it, we have a, we have a free reload. Uh, I'm going to do it. And we'll kind of hang near our, our bud here. We'll just pull back. Here I come. As we all start pulling back to get out of here, we got to get Ecobot up here also. Let's uh, steady our weapon. Because that thing's probably going to turn red. I'm going to assume this next turn. It's worth it. So let's just reload. Let's rock! And let's get Gladius up here. He's okay on reloads there. They're, we're all let's in good shape. Similar, similar range away. So I'm feeling okay. Let's hope I don't regret just saying that. Got it covered. Scan the beat. Come get some. They're bringing in reinforcements. Yeah, now it's going to be coming in. So now, I think we do pull back uh, for oh, Overwatch. To hit them while they land, hopefully. Yeah, and everybody then should be able to, to get out. This unit is relatively agile. After we hopefully Sounds take like care of the turret. reinforcements. Finally. 
I'm on it. Now, it probably doesn't matter for you, Antros, about being on Overwatch okay, with that weapon. Let's just pull you back. And then Machine Hater will also put you on Overwatch. Hopefully, cover is not a huge okay, concern okay, if we were able to mow them down, but we don't know that yet. Uh, I will steady you as opposed to putting you on Overwatch in case we don't quite finish the job. We get a good shot coming in. I'm on it. A mech and something else. Some kind of advanced soldier of some kind that just has that look. An elite trooper, yep. Two of them. Overwatch better dang well hit. So the elite trooper gets to move. I don't think I have any more overwatches waiting out there. And the good news is, he's not on Overwatch. And we should be able to finish him off. Uh, let's just try the snipe. It's not bad. I'm going to give it a go. And that means everybody else can pull back and we're going to get out of here no problem. In fact, everybody else will be able to get out of clear. here, but since uh, our sniper cannot move, we'll go out as a team. Which Try means nothing. I point. really should just take everybody else, take everybody out to reduce will, I guess. Uh, so we'll, we'll do it that way. Since we know we don't have to worry about anything, and there's no right, harm I'll in doing it. this. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And Grapevine will get you on the, the back end here. Coming out in just a moment. I'm going. Alright, now it's your turn. Let's do this! Evac confirmed! Alright, excellent job. We did take a wound one tick just because they charged us once they saw us and uh, just got a little bit too close. Ah, what a frustrating time that was. All right, so uh, we can see everybody. Uh, Ecobot, we, we've got somebody a little bit hidden back there. I think that's it. Let's see if we can turn you a little bit, Ecobot. And where are you? Let's let's see if we can rotate you a little bit. Oh yeah, now we can see everybody. You can look off into the distance, the pondering robot, and uh, I I know you have an attitude. <laughs> Why am I taking all this time? <laughs> it's, like <I> have, <laughs> it's like I have a lot of fun doing this. Machine Hater's cool. Uh, the lounging poser over there is cool. Uh, I want Maltese. Where, where, where is your name? Let's get you... Yeah, I'm not going to let you totally hide on this. Now we can see your... Your, your spooky green eyes peering out at us. Okay, success is measured in blood. We are XCOM. Suspect it. Report it. Poor humanity. Pretty sure I saw that on an album cover decades ago. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Again, our brave soldiers hold the forces oh, of right. chaos at bay. We push back against the darkness with the light of the elders. We cannot fail. 
That 100% uh, is pretty much mostly true. The one miss that didn't count was the area suppression where he ran that suppression, so that didn't count against us. But for the most part, we may have had a graze too, but that, that counts as a hit still. Uh, so some nice numbers. Maltese, you dealt out the most damage. And it looks like Grapevine, did it say you? Made the most attacks, very good. And uh, Anthros, most definitely, was the most under fire. After a mission like that, spirits are going to be high around here. All right, we got a promotion out of that too. The bar. That's cool news. And what does that bring us to? Implacable. So if you score one or more kills in your turn, you get a bonus move. Uh, we decide to take that over grazing attacks and over bring them on. So we're, we're going to go for implacable for you. And that can sometimes make it possible to get more aggressive now with our sawed off shotguns. If we know we're going to get a kill or have a good chance for a kill, that allows us to run up, be aggressive, and then get that implacable move to get the hay out of there. So it allows me a little more flexibility potentially in playing with Boomer out on the field there. So uh, good job. And we picked, oh yeah, we got these two and cereals down the road. You have high intelligence. so. Good, good, good. All right, we didn't get to see Antros to see what his wound time is, but he has been rescued. We picked up a data pad if we need some more intel coming up. Sellable, not sellable, not really sellable. Um, actually, that's better. I think we have a plus three. Uh, we might be able to, that, that, that's a much better one. In combat awareness, yeah, probably sellable also. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. Thank you, Geist. We got 19 more intel. Uh, let's just take a look at our choices for if new covert ops. Us, see what we have we out there. We a new means of disrupting the elders and their false vision. Uh, we got some more corpses we could steal, but that's not as critical as what we need. We we might need some more supplies. I could see gathering more intel and just keeping climbing our intel and just keep pushing the intel gathering is kind of kind of uh, the way I'm leaning again. Kind of the way I'm leaning again. Uh, let's just see who's available for a potential mission. Because uh, I've got to really push, 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 push on, on Intel right now. And uh, I, ideally, as you can see, I like... I like speedy people on these things. In fact, uh, lightning reflexes could have sure come in handy this last. So, Robbie, I'm taking you out on one in case we get ambushed again. And let's see who we can pair with you. Kind of, kind of thinking, uh, perhaps Mary Crawford. Although her, I don't think her speed, nah, speed's okay. But we could probably find somebody with a little bit more speed. Um, who do we have with decent speed that's not too low level? <laughs> that's that's the other, that's the other part of the equation. Now the, the the gunner was nice to have along. He had formidable shredder, area suppression, all that. That that kind of helped us a little bit to keep a little bit of luck involved also, but it did help us a little bit to keep alive on one of those shots. So maybe I do bring a gunner. Let's just see. Failure, 23% chance. Probably a tick higher than I would prefer, but the ambush level is uh Nicely low again, so I'm gonna go with this team. My followers will lead this action to victory. All right, good, good, good. Uh, let's just go to the armory, and I want to take a look at our soldiers real quick, and uh, find out how the new injury. Blue Jays down to 14 hours. Andrei, now didn't we see you on a mission? Still says you're supposed to be in there. They they offered you as a potential person on that rescue mission, and I don't know why, because you're still lightly wounded. 
Uh, Coach is down to three days. Antros, it's only seven days for you, and Felipe's at 13. So the, the timings, we have a fair amount in there at the moment, but the timings are much better to get them back quickly, quickly, quickly. And the only thing uh, I think there's nothing else I need to do in here. Now I could build the Skulljack right now. That would get me, leave me with only about a hundred supplies for upgrades. Uh, but I think I just am going to get that out of the way because we will need it for advancing the story at some point. I mean, I can put it off, put it off, put it off. Interesting choice. I'll send it. word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Okay. And that leaves us with a hundred for equipping on a future mission. So let's get back out here and get that next mission pulled up. Now we finished the dark event. They increase the strength of their encryption, increasing... Oh, man. Intel costs re increased for a month. Just as we're starting to get close to being able to afford some Intel, we get this. Game, what are you telling me? What is our new contact cost now? Oh, <laughs> ugly, ugly. I repeat, ugly. Okay, so uh, strength six, liberated. And look at that, income 332. Oh, I just, I could look at that all day. And then uh, strength two here. Let's get this mission going while it's still strength two. Let's advance. Let's come back here to scan. Maybe we'll be able to squeeze in another in infiltration setting course for Mexico all right okay resistance informant has expired so whatever that means <laughs> whatever that one did it's now gone so that that's good news at least 99%. Let's let's get our next mission queued up. All right, and let's take a look at what it will be. Uh, we are at seven to nine, so that that temporary drop in strength has played into our hands to make this much easier to get this done. We are not going to wait. We're going to get in there right away. Pick up some resistance personnel. Let's do a refresher on who's doing the mission. And with the team of five, I'm so glad it's down to seven to nine. We got Hisako, Anaconda Chen. We got Spesh McList, her bondmate, also going out on this. We got Zigzag, Commander Zigzag and his bondmate, Nefertiti No, Relation Jones, and finally, Dan Stubbs, Lucutus. So, actually, it's, it's a nice little team. I'm much more grateful that it's 7 to 9 now, and this is what we'll be doing next time. We get to actually start with a mission next time. How about that? Hope you enjoyed it today. I had a lot of fun. That's the first ambush I think we've had. So it was, it's always fun to do a slightly different mission. And uh, thank you, everybody. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching. And I do hope to see you next time.